All right, today I'm going to show you a little smoker I made for smoking cars, EVAP systems, leak detection, all that other kind of stuff. There it is. It's not anything special. I just found a couple of videos on YouTube on guys to make them. I started making this about six months ago. Hard drive crashed, lost all the footage of three quarters of how to build this thing. So I just went ahead and put it back together. I'll show you how I did it. This thing didn't even cost me 20 bucks. Now granted, I had most of the stuff here. Well, and there's a cotton washcloth. That resistance wire in there is from an old hair dryer that I got from Goodwill for a couple of bucks. I just smashed it with a hammer and took the wire out and unraveled it. Then I had some extra wicks for an oil lamp to kind of wick it up towards the top of that thing. Now this uses mineral oil. I found some of this at the local grocery store. It was only a dollar a bottle. They were getting rid of it. So it is food grade because it's a laxative. So yeah, there's there's always you can use it for that too, I guess. You know, drink some of this and then clear yourself out. It's nothing but mineral oil. That's what we're going to use in this. I had a little hose left over from another project. I don't know what it is. This says 5 sixteenths ID vinyl. You can use whatever hose you want. It doesn't even have to be clear. had this left over. It's just old regulator we used on the nail guns up when we were roofing houses. It just spins on there. Quick connect to this guy. Now, I didn't save the tag on this, but this was from that hair dryer, so it is UL tested and approved. So, safety first. Let's tie it up to one side. There, I got a rubber grommet. Rubber grommet in between the washer, the wire, and the nut. That bolt goes all the way through there. And since it was a rubber grommet, it's on the outside and the inside. Washer, a couple of nuts, hook it up to the other wire, wrap the wire around the cotton, wick, fuse, whatever you got in there. I hear Tiki Torch uh, fuses work good for this too. Then the other wire hooks up on the other side. Nut, nut, wire, nut, washer, grommet, grommet on the outside, washer, and bolt again with the wire on the other side. Now as far as the air coming in, I wanted it to spin around. I didn't want it to just blow straight on it. So I put a 90 degree on there. It's one of the things I had to buy, I think a couple bucks probably. I had this fitting here. Um, really I should put some silicone all the way around that to seal it up. But I haven't done it. We'll see how much it leaks first. And then I may add some silicone to it, some high temperature RTV, because this thing is going to get hot. On the lid here, what I have is another nipple that connects to the hose. And then I have this guy right here, which just fits on the outside of that. It's also pipe thread. This is all pipe thread. I uh, put a washer up there to flatten it out. I was thinking if I did that, I wouldn't have to RTV it, but... I think I might have to go ahead and RTV it anyway. We'll see. Put this one on there to nut this one. That's all that is, is a nut. Now I made this part right here quick connect. Pump regular shop air into it. Regulate it down to almost nothing. So that this thing won't blow a lot of pressure in your system because they blow a lot of pressure and you might make a leak instead of just finding one. You can hook this up to a regular hose, hook this up to a battery. We're going to hook it up to a battery booster, see what happens. And this is a nipple that I have for this hose, but it doesn't fit in there real tight. It likes to fall out, so I'm going to have to find me some more nipples to stick on there and use for hose. Okay, I'm gonna hook this up to a jump pack. It's probably not the smartest idea, but uh, I know how to put fires out. I'll be good. Now, oddly enough, this does not have a positive and a negative side, but 
I do have them labeled positive and negative over here. Let's see if it works. She's smoking. Oh man. She's not smoking very much. You even see it smoking. And you can a little bit. I don't know if that means I have too much wire. Or not enough gas. More gas. Needs more gas. I'm almost sure of it. Alright, so we'll let it go ahead and cool down. It might be warm. That wire's not even really... No, it's, it's warm. Yeah, fuck. That's hot. I think I'm going to take me a loop off of that wire there. Okay, so... This is the wire I took off. It's probably about two foot long when you stretch it out. I had another little wire here that was smaller that I'll try if this doesn't work out. Essentially what I did was double this wire and wrap it around even more times. More wire, hopefully more fire. Just in case you didn't know what a resistance wire looked like in a hair dryer, that's what it looks like. It's all coiled up real tight. You have to unwind it. Go so buy this stuff from vape shops. Resistance wire. They'll be able to tell you all the ohms laws and all that other kind of stuff you're supposed to know to figure it out other than trial and error like I'm doing. If you're like me, you ain't got time for math. It's not smoking. Oh, it's smoking a little bit. That is not enough though. I'll go ahead and plug this battery charger into wall power and then striker. Do not try this at home. Do it in your garage. Yeah, I think that means that we have too much wire. It's time to get fucking dirty again. Get all mineral oily. Where I left off last time, I had that big old jumper box up here. I think the battery's kaput in that thing, so I got this new uh, 6, 8, 12 volt 4 amp charger from an auction. I think I paid like 6 bucks for it, which is awesome because it's a dumb one. So I've got, I bought this specifically for a new purpose down the road. Uh, the cord's a little sketch here, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug it in anyway. Flip the switch, got her all hooked up over here, and see if she smokes before I get my hands dirty. <laughs> Still alive. Go ahead, six to eight volt. Nothing. Kick her up. Oh yeah, she's humming. Yep, you can see smoke now too. But that's not enough smoke, so luckily the other day I was at the vape shop, grabbed some of this here Nichrome 80 Lightning Vapes uh, 22 gauge. There's 10 foot of it. I'm going to peel off 2 foot of it, see if that works. And, uh, oh, that smells like ass. Not that I know what ass smells like, but you know what I'm talking about. Alright, I went ahead. And change it out with that resistance wire. Let's see what she does. Just got my hands all de lubified. And go! Oh, yeah, now she's putting out more smoke. Can you see that? Ah, uh, you can't tell how much she's putting out, how much more she's putting out, but she's putting out quite a bit more. And that is only point. 8 amps as you can see right there 
0 0.8 amps. So you hook this up to a car battery, you ought to get a lot more smoke than that. We'll do that tomorrow morning. Alright, so I lied. Uh, I had to open up the garage door and let the garage air out anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and spark it up. There she goes. Look at her. She's getting all red hot. That's going to be enough smoke to detect a leak. Can's not hot to the touch. I bet that fucking wire is though. Alright, so here we go. Another test. All hooked up. Well, not yet. Got shop air coming in. Get ready to... Throw the nipple clamp here on the negative. Ooh, she's sparky. Well, got a little bit leaking there. I have this all the way off. So now I'm going to introduce a little bit of that air pressure. Come on! Alright, so after a bit of hammer time, we do have a little bit leaking up here, but as you can see, that smoke is coming right on out of there. So, and this isn't even... That's, that's not a good fit. I need to find a better tip. That one doesn't work very good. But there she is. That'll be enough smoke to find a leak. And of course, when you turn this off, just by unhooking that negative cable, this can gets warm. And it gets warm quick, so leave that shop air on there. Let it blow all that smoke out and circulate some fresh air in there. You can see she's still putting out good smoke. She's still hot in there. But as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Love, hate, hardknocksforge, gmail.com. Don't send me any panties, because they never fit. Well, it's a leak detector. Leak on what? You take this hose, and once you get the uh, once you get the smoke going, which it doesn't take very long, you take this hose right here. See that's blowing the smoke out. It'll get better. Yeah, I'll see it. But you take that smoke. And you put it into like the brake hose, the brake booster hose, and that smoke will go in there. And wherever it's leaking, like in the intake or anywhere else, that smoke will start coming out and you'll see it. And you'll say, oh, well, that's fucked. Hmm. Big guys like Snap On and Mac and all them, they sell smoke detector kits like that. But they want $1,500, 2000 bucks for them. Jeez. They got. Paid probably about twenty-five bucks for that one. Now what you paid for? No, well, that's what it cost me to make. Oh, you made it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That's why I needed the regulator. That can's hot. I bet it is. I mean, what does it heat up? What's in the can to heat? Mineral oil. Oh. That's what that smell is. Mineral oil. Try to pop that top over there. Oh, God. <laughs> what was that? The top. It blew up? Yeah. 
I kept on increasing the pressure in it to get the top off because I had to hammer it back on. Oh, you, you took the top off. No, I, I blew it off. Or it blew it off. Yeah. I tried to pressure. catch it, but it wouldn't. Yeah, in other words, you had too much pressure in there. 20 PSI. A 20? Yeah. Huh. It's pretty good. A little paint can. Okay, now, for you guys that stayed until the end of the video, there's a link in the description to another smoke machine that I think you could probably fabricate something together for about 40 bucks plus some hoses. You buy it right off of Amazon. Uh, you can buy the juice off of Amazon too. I think it's damn near pretty plug and play. So if you stayed here that long, uh, go check out that description. Uh, you'll find the link and you'll know what I'm talking about.